who broke the BG story? Was it 1090 Jake? And, and did you guys find some common ground through Bro that? Bro called me. I was sick. 1090 already, called you. No, or Remo called you. Remo called. I had this on the three-way. Sick Remo knew I was already finna go with it, right? What kind of sickness? I had like the flu or something, right? Okay. So, um... So when he called me, I was sick. I'm like, yeah, bro, I got like 28 pages. 1090 said I got like 100, 200 pages. I said, well, I just got the, the meats and potatoes up and taking a stand, grand jury, whoop, whoop. I said, Remo, Remo put us on the text blast. I sent him what I had. I said, go do your thing. My only request is to come out on Christmas Day. Right? That was my request. <laughs> Why? Huh? Why? I wanted to give him a gift. Because <laughs> did you see Hassan Campbell's video talking about this? He really emphasized, like, I don't know what kind of sick person wants to put this out on Christmas. And I hate the way these YouTubers just stretch their f videos well, out and just say the same thing 50 times. So it came out, right? But this, this is like the most Grinch thing possible is to want to f up his Christmas. Can we talk about that? Talk about f what Christmas? Why would you want to f Christmas yeah, up so bad? Christmas Can you do the then? day after okay. Christmas? Bah humbug okay. ass mother. How many Christmases of Kentrell Washington did he up? Ooh. Out of here. Mm. You just silenced me. Bow. So this would trist me out. Headshot. Yeah. Whack ain't said hate BG. Yeah. Whack ain't said don't stream BG. Don't support BG. Whack just expose, because we got a new movement called the Exposers. I heard you. Right? That you's a rat. That now, you're, you're trying to recruit big hit for. Now, that's another conversation. <laughs> you invited him to join. Now, <laughs> what whoever chooses to do with it, all we're going to do is expose, talk about it, turn it into content, let it go up, get your click, get your views, and laugh. Now, I hope that if it was somebody out there who was planning to do business with anybody we expose that's street business, I bet you they appreciate us. Because they're going to say, oh, shit, this nigga didn't got out. We didn't know. What about that? What about that crowd? Now, his fans, bro, continue to be his fans. I want you to stream, download all this music. That's part of the Cash Buddy catalog. Birdman and Slim make that money. BG get whatever cut he got, whatever it is. We all this old man shit you hear these niggas talking about, and it's usually a rat saying it. Is the, is it's usually a rat saying it? If you expose a nigga, you gotta do something to him. That's stopping niggas from exposing niggas. So as soon as 1090 and you expose the BG stuff and start being vocal about it, Boosie chimes in right away and basically lets you so know. So what Boosie did, what's, and he what's, ain't gonna say. What's it. his thought process? And I'm gonna be real. I fuck with Boosie. You know, I usually don't give a fuck about getting into it with nobody. Yeah. This one kind of bummed you out? I don't give a fuck, straight up. But I fuck with Boosie. Like, for real. How could you so not? So I yeah. think what Boosie did, because I did it on purpose. I come on Clubhouse BG a rat. That's all I said. Two days, I was trying to bait BG into denying it. You know how I work. Yeah. Then I dropped the shit. He mm. never said nothing. You put the... Me and 1090 on the phone to come out the way it come out. So when he just heard me saying it on Clubhouse, right, he responded. Without knowing the back end story. Of he didn't know it because I had let it go. Yeah, I got you. I got DMs from Boosie after that. So what was Boosie thoughts on? Boosie uh, said, show me where he a rat. Show me where a rat. Send me the work. I sent him the work. He never responded. And I think Boosie's sitting back saying, like I'm saying, I'm going to be a real nigga. Damn, I done got into it with Wack. Boosie been to the penitentiary, streets to the streets. If you ask Boosie to state his truth, nigga, is any man supposed to take that stand and mention any man's name and point their finger at any man, Boosie gonna tell you hell motherfucking no. Even if they got a fall guy, nigga, it's in the cahoots? You never. You a squared nigga, so you know, your mind at your age is not trained for it. This is shit that been embedded in us. We do not mention another man's name. We don't point at another man's picture. We don't know or we plead the fifth. If a nigga say he gonna take the beef, 
You may sit in jail one day, a year, five years. I got homies that didn't sit there five years. Only thing that man is guaranteeing me is I'm not going to catch that chain in the penitentiary. Right? I got to let him put together his play. Let him move the pieces around how he going to move them. My peace of mind is sitting in the county jail knowing I'm going to walk from the county jail. The homie said he going to take the beef. Let him set it up. You may sit there a year, one of the cops may get, go foul. It could get thrown out. A witness could disappear, get sick. That could be thrown out. Anything could happen. Nigga, you got to sit there, nigga, and not say a motherfucking thing and let that man work his hand, set up either beating this shit or setting himself up for appeal while he's doing his time. If I go take a stand behind this nigga back, you notice BG didn't say, dude, told me to go get on the stand. Yeah. Right? Behind this man's back and give a statement saying everything is his, boom, 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 boom. Right? I didn't already killed his appeal. Gone. The nigga's in the car saying it's yours, right? Now look at what the man did. He set it up to where he got his guilty plea withdrew and was going to fight it. He didn't get it withdrew and point a finger at anybody and turn rat. He got it withdrew and was finna fight it. When he went to fight it, they said, you know, we got statements from these two dudes saying everything is yours. They went to the grand jury behind your back, signed out for Davis and all that. So do you think that... That's right. Do you think Boosie... Now Boosie realizes, didn't know the details. You think that Boosie now realizes you the, were right? Boosie know I was right. I Do you think Boosie. that Boosie will Listen, say I'm that keep publicly? It real. I don't like getting into it with Boosie because I know the man. We'd have been in each other's presence in the studio. He didn't do favors for me, all kind of shit. Like, I generally fuck with Boosie. So if he comes to you and says, I was wrong, you'll happily accept and be back on That's good terms fact. with him. Right, okay. Because... I know the nigga. Like, Boosie a good nigga. Like, not only I'm a Boosie fan, I respect the nigga as a man. But based on what you know of this situation, if Boosie's opinion is he didn't snitch, his behavior is acceptable, that that's Boosie's unacceptable opinion. to you? What Boosie's going to do is not... He's going to not For whatever say reason, he, you know, him and BG is what it is. But right? I've, seen, I've seen Vlad ask Boosie about a bunch of snitching shit where Boosie kind of was like... I'm not getting involved, you know, and it's like, but you also seen like, him, but, but you've also seen him jump off the fucking diving board about relatively minor guess shit, what? like the Ti thing. Ti he canceled the fucking album over Ti, which it was not like the best example he's of snitching, a rat. right? He's a rat, right? Terrence, right? Uh, Williams, you know, he spoke strongly about that shit, yeah. right? Boosie at the time didn't know I had the paperwork, and he hadn't read it. And I think he got mad because I said what I said. But Boosie's supposed to know, and he got my number. That's the part I didn't like. Whack, what up? What's up with this shit you calling my homie? You know, bro, a rat. I'd have sent him to work, right? Yeah. He didn't know I had to work. He thought I was just saying some shit. Because once I sent him to work on the DM, when he said, nigga, show me where it's at, and I sent it, he didn't respond. If he had read that and felt what I said he wasn't right, he had told me, nigga, this you capping this, this, that. Boosie gonna speak his mind. This is real shit. But you think with BG being from Louisiana, he's still gonna, you know what I'm saying, push that narrative? I, don't, I think he gonna fall back. No, I him. just think, I think the overall politics or whatever it is, you know, everybody has a person that they probably don't wanna talk about it. Right? They don't wanna talk about it. We've seen that with a lot of the Chicago guys. They got like family. They got their best friend from no, elementary no. school, and he told. And they've I we've, fuck, we've I seen fuck people have to kind of like formulate their response in order to say, "Yes, that person fucked up," but I can't deny that I still love them. You know, it seems like so, a tough, tough conversation for a lot of people. So with me, it's a little different. It is what it is. When you fuck up, I just ain't fucking with you. If you we talking some street shit, I ain't fucking with you. But you'll do business with niggas who fucked up. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Hypothetically, what about a couple days ago we interviewed Paparazzi Poe. His dad was Alpo. His dad was a snitch. Yeah, I know. I know all about Alpo. Would you be Alpo able to told you to say that was your dad? Would you be able to have love for him or, or would it fuck it up? Um, I'm gonna have love for him as my father, if he was a father. Say so he's a father. Right. But Pops couldn't call me talking about no street shit. Mm. Uh, uh, son, I need you. Nigga, you's a rat. Nigga, fuck is you talking about? 
right? And so you'd be just post, sunning your dad. They reached me. They reached out to me. Once he tells you, you can they sun your dad. They reached out to me because they want to do an hour post story or something. Mm. Would I help them do the hour post story? Absolutely. It's business. Yeah. Right? But we going to call a spade a spade. What if he was still alive and he had wanted to invest in the diaper business? I talked to Al Poe when he was alive. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't have done business with him as a rat? Definitely. You I told him to do a story when he was alive. He was dragging his feet. Mm. He was at a halfway house on the West Coast. He was dragging his feet. I said, do your story. Damn. 